My name's Keith Goodrich. I'm with uh, Team One, the Miltern lathe team, and I've been with CNC about four years now. So over the past couple of years, we've been working very closely with Sandvik Coromont on their prime turning tools and toolpath strategies. For Mastercam 2019, we fully integrated prime turning in with all of the other lathe toolpaths. It's no longer a C-hook. The major benefit with prime turning is now you can cut in all four directions. You don't have to face down toward the center of the part. You can face up away from center. You don't have to turn pushing into the chuck. You can now pull the material away from the chuck. With the geometries of the Sandvik prime turning tools, your feed rates as well as your spindle speeds can be increased to give you much, much more productivity. In Mastercam 2019, we'll be opening up the mill turn environment to select single stream lathe machines. Lathe users who choose to take advantage of the mill turn environment for their machine will benefit setting up their Mastercam job with our job setup process. Job setup walks you through the entire process of setting up your chuck and stock and part process all at the beginning so you don't have to worry about it further down the road. Being able to simulate your job on your computer before it ever gets to the shop floor helps you save time and money by not having to stop the machine and change things once you've got the job already up and running. You can see anything that you might need to change right in our simulation, so before the code hits the machine, you know it's good to go. Mastercam 2018 introduced Sandvik Prime Turning as an add-in to the Mastercam interface. Now, Prime Turning has been fully integrated in Mastercam 2019 for lathe and mill turn. Mastercam exclusively partnered with Sandvik Coromont on the development and support of Prime Turning and Coro Turn Prime Tooling. Using these tools and toolpaths, you can turn in both the conventional direction, toward the chuck, and the prime turning direction, away from the chuck, all in the same operation. Prime turning gives you more versatility when cutting, greater chip control, and increased tool life. Prime turning is in the general section of the turning or mill turn contextual tabs. In this example, we are using prime turning with lathe. You must chain the prime turning toolpath in the opposite direction of the conventional turning toolpaths. When using Coro Turn Prime A type or B type inserts, prime turning provides superior metal removal rates and productivity gains of over 50%. In Mastercam 2019, Prime Turning Tools are available as 3D tools. Libraries of 3D tools are available on the Tech Exchange page of www.mastercam.com. In this example, we choose a millimeter tool library. There are two types of Prime Turning Tool inserts. The A type, which is used for roughing, finishing, and profiling, and the B type, used for heavy roughing only. Now watch as we backplot these rough and finish prime turning toolpaths. The tool libraries provide realistic representations of prime turning tools in backplot, verify, and simulation. Using prime turning in Mastercam gives you greater versatility when cutting, as well as increased tool life you will experience fewer tool changes and stops, which can result in productivity gains of over 50%. Mastercam 2019 makes the power of its Milturn product available to users of select lathe machines. Lathe users can now use milturn.machine files and posts with no additional license. 
The only restriction is that machines for lathe users are limited to single stream, single turret configurations with either a single spindle, dual spindles, or a single spindle with tailstock. This example uses one of the generic Fanuc style machines that will be available for download from Mastercam's Tech Exchange. When you select the machine, Mastercam automatically starts Code Expert in a separate window. Code Expert hosts the Sync Manager application where you will post your part, run simulation, and set machine specific options that have been defined for your machine. In the window with your part file, Mastercam automatically starts the job setup function. Complete the job setup pages in order to tell Mastercam how you want to machine your part. For example, tell Mastercam about your initial spindle and stock setup. Mastercam uses this information to organize and simplify your programming options. Then select your part model. Mastercam automatically copies your part model to the opposing spindle. Use the stock page to customize your turning stock definition. Defining chuck jaws is similar to lathe. Enter the dimensions for length, height, and width. For each spindle, you can set a default origin and work offset. Unlike lathe, in mill turn you can define the stick out distance, pick off position, and cut off tool dimensions at the job setup stage. Mastercam uses the job setup information to create a programming environment tailored to your part. Mastercam creates view sheets for each spindle with the part geometry and stock model properly located. Mastercam also creates a complete set of planes for programming, milling, and turning operations. It creates planes for each spindle with the proper origin and work offset from the job setup. The new mill turn machine files for lathe users support Mastercam's latest toolpath technologies. These include prime turning and 3D tooling. Mill turn uses the information from job setup to support a streamlined, simplified workflow for creating milling operations. First, select the axis combination, then the type of milling operation you want to create. You can use the tool planes that were created by job setup, or you can have Mastercam create new planes from selected geometry. The options that are available here are based on the capabilities of the machine plus the selected geometry. Lathe users with a mill turn machine environment can also access mill turns more advanced part handling features, including enhanced tail stock and bar feed operations. Use the pick off cut off utility to automatically create advanced part handling applications from predefined sequences. Each strategy includes a complete sequence of individual operations or events. Default settings for each are stored with the strategy, but you can customize any operation if necessary. Mastercam creates a new toolpath group just for the part handling operations. Mastercam also creates a new empty toolpath group where you can place operations for the opposing spindle. After you have programmed operations for the opposing spindle, use the Tool Setup Manager to preview how your tools are loaded. Mastercam automatically loads each tool in its proper location. Mastercam's advanced tool locator technology 
means that each tool is properly oriented for each spindle and face cross orientation. Multi-station tool blocks, live tooling blocks, and half-index tool locators are also accurately represented. Once you preview your tools, continue using the Tool Setup Manager to make any desired changes. Select different tool locator blocks, unload tools, or drag tools to different stations as needed. Once all your tools are properly set, click the G1 button to open your part in Milturn's Sync Manager application. This is where you will finish your programming and simulate the completed part. In the Sync Manager, you can enter settings for a wide variety of options. These are specific to your individual machine environment. These options replace the miscellaneous values used in the MP-based post, which are not used in Milturn. Unlike miscellaneous values, Sync Manager options can be configured to apply to the entire part, an operation, or a part of an operation. For example, just the retract. You can also create options that only apply to specific types of operations. The Sync Manager is also where you set coolant options. In Milturn, coolant options are bundled into strategies that automatically turn multiple options on and off. When you have set all your options, save them back to your Mastercam part file. All of your Sync Manager settings are saved for your next Mastercam session. When you have finished programming your part, or at any other time, launch simulation to verify your work. Milturn Simulation is a full-featured application that brings together all the information about your part, your machine, and your job setup. Zoom in on the work envelope and hide the machine housing to see the toolpath action more clearly. Here we can see the start of the first facing operation. Simulation runs from the same toolpath data that will be used by your post. It uses your job setup data from Mastercam, plus detailed information about your machine tool to accurately simulate part handling operations and tool changes. Once you are satisfied with your simulation, you can post your part. In Milturn, you post from the Sync Manager. The post that is embedded in your machine environment uses Mastercam's advanced new posting language, MP.NET. Your NC code opens in a new Code Expert tab right next to your Sync Manager tab. You can easily switch back and forth between your NC code, your part, and simulation until your part is just the way you want it. Lathe users with supported machines will experience productivity gains from automated job setup and part transfer capabilities, simplified programming of C or Y-axis toolpaths, and machine simulation found in a typical Milturn environment. Users with only a lathe license will have access to basic milling functionality equivalent to the C-axis functions in lathe. Users with an additional mill license have full access to Mastercam's advanced mill toolpaths. Machine environments for a range of popular production lathes are currently being developed and will be made available through your Mastercam reseller. <laughs>